All right, so in the last step of this challenge, you found the sum of your functions, so you added them together. In this step, you are going to find the difference of your function. So you're going to do f minus g. So you're doing this for the pair of functions you chose, but I'm going to show you my example. So my two functions, remember, were x minus 4 and 2x plus 2. So I'm going to find the difference of functions, which is f of x minus g of x. So for me, I'm going to take x minus 4 and subtract 2x plus 2. Now I'm subtracting the entire 2x plus 2, so the minus goes in front of the whole function in parentheses. So the minus actually applies, so this minus symbol applies to the 2x and the 2, right? It distributes. So it actually simplifies 2x minus 4 minus 2x minus 2. I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms. x minus 2x is negative 1x, and minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. So my new function, f of x minus g of x, is actually negative x minus 6. Then I'm going to go ahead and graph it. Again, you can use a table of values if you don't know how to graph. Um, I'll show you another example. Um, x, y, negative. 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, here's my input, x. Here's my output, which is f minus g. So I'm going to try um, some terms here. Um, negative 3 minus 6 is equal to negative 9. I'm just plugging in my x where my x is here. Oh, I'm sorry. It should be negative negative 3. See, there's a negative in front of the x. If x is negative 3, it should be negative negative 3. So this should actually plus 3 minus 6, which is equal to negative 3. Okay, then negative negative 2 minus 6, which is equal to plus 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. And then... Um, negative negative 1 oops, minus 6 which is plus 1 minus 6 again you don't have to do this if you know how to graph a linear function but if you don't I'm showing you how to do a table of values if you know how to graph a linear function using the y-intercept and the slope you can go ahead and do that too for example I know that we have a um, y-intercept here at negative 6 one, two, three, four, five, six. And my slope is negative one, so I go over one, down one, over one, down one. And there's my linear function. Sorry, oops. Okay, so, ah, oh, sorry. Just free scribbling here. So it's up to you how you want to graph it. You can either use a table of values or the y-intercept and the slope. Either way, you're going to graph your difference of functions, and you're going to do the same thing you did in the previous function, or previous step, where you're going to compare your difference of functions to your original functions. So go ahead, graph the difference of your two functions, not mine. This is my example. You're going to take your f and your g, and up uh, graph f minus g. Well, figure out what f minus g is first and then graph it. And then answer this question, what do you notice? What are some similarities and differences that you notice between f of x minus g of x and the original functions f of x and g of x? Why do you think this is happening? So compare your difference of functions to your original f and g, and then explain why you think there, there are these similarities and there are these differences. When you're finished, take a photo of your work and then upload it here on DreamSeeDo.